The original Yamaha FZ6 was last produced in 2010, which makes it almost 10 years old at the time of this video. So why in the world would anyone want one today? Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Today we are going to do an in-depth review of a fairly modern, kind of old sport bike and make the case as to why it is still perfectly relevant today. First of all, what is an FC6? It's basically a cross between a super sport and a naked bike. It's based around the R6 engine, but with far less peak horsepower in exchange for much more mid-range. Sporty, but upright riding position and much larger seat overall for more comfort, especially with passenger. Don't get me wrong, this bike certainly isn't an R6. The front suspension doesn't even compare, and at only 98 peak horsepower at the crank, this bike falls short of its R6 brother by about 29 horsepower. On the other hand, ride a modern naked bike, such as the FZ07 or FZ09. Afterwards, you'll agree that the FZ6 is practically twins with the R6 compared to the naked machines. It's interesting because this bike came out in 2004, which is pretty early in the naked bike era, but it isn't quite naked. It has a half fairing, which looks kind of silly at first glance, to be honest. But after a while, the look certainly grows. It is raw, boasting its headers from the inline four power plant and the big ugly radiator tucked up front. At the same time, it offers the sporty upper fairing look, which does wonders when riding at speed. That's one of the biggest reasons why I prefer this bike over the FC07 or FC09, which I've had the privilege to ride. Naked bikes are an absolute joy to blast around on, but the wind quickly becomes irritating at highway speeds. My college commute calls for a 20 mile, one way ride on the freeway, four days a week. A windshield and decent upper fairing are a must at this point. So for me, I'll trade the cool, edgy, aggressive styling of the newest naked bikes for the convenience of some wind protection. It really makes a huge difference when you're at speed for a while. To sum this up, the FC6 definitely isn't at the level of a modern super sport, and it is noticeably more tame than the R6 that it was based off of. But the feel of the high revving, screaming inline four, and the comfort of an upright seated bearing equipped motorcycle is really unmatched these days. I'm not saying that Yamaha should absolutely bring the FC6 back into production. However, I am saying that these bikes are easily available for $2,000 to $2,500 and most people don't realize how much fun is jam packed into the phaser for such a low market value. Don't sleep on this bike guys, it's quickly become my favorite one to ride.